The Feds cut interest rates by half a point. So why aren't we seeing lower mortgage rates today? Mortgage rates were already impacted by the Fed's rate cut. They hit a two-year low earlier this week, and that was prior to the Fed meeting. And that's because lenders had already factored in the possibility of a half-point cut. Another tidbit for you is if Feds would have just cut rates by a quarter of a point, more likely than not, we would have actually have seen mortgage rates go up today. So why is that? When the Federal Reserve cuts interest rates, it doesn't directly cause mortgage rates to drop, and that's because the two rates are influenced by different factors. The Federal Reserve controls the federal funds rate. That's the interest rate that banks charge each other for overnight loans. It's the same interest rate that controls short-term loans, such as auto loans and credit cards. But mortgage rates, they're based on long-term interest rates. And those are influenced by the broader bond market fluctuations, as well as inflation expectations. Also, mortgage rates are highly sensitive to inflation. When inflation is expected to rise, lenders seek higher rates to compensate for the decreasing value of money over time. So if a Fed rate cut signals potential inflationary pressures, mortgage rates may not fall at all, but instead they may actually rise. And the third reason is that mortgage rates tend to follow the yields on your 10-year treasury bonds, which are greatly impacted by investor sentiment. When the Fed cuts rates, investors may anticipate economic instability or even inflation. This can cause rates to rise or fall independently of the Fed's moves. While the Fed rate cuts may influence short-term borrowing, mortgage rates are driven by long-term factors, the economic outlook, inflation, and even risk assessments set by lenders, all of which don't always respond directly to the Fed's moves whenever they raise or lower interest rates.